The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video. Right now we're doing Cardano uh, update, and uh, right now we're sitting at minus zero point something percent, and we're gonna see if it actually it's gonna go up and down. Now there's there's this thing where I get good news and bad news. So I don't know if I'm gonna present the bad news first and then good news, or good news first and bad news. Yeah, like how how we're gonna end the video. So I'm thinking we're gonna end the video with good news, but I'm gonna scare you a little bit first. That sounds good. Okay, let's get in the chart and see what's actually happening with Cardano. So we're gonna start with bad news. Bad news is we are outside of the wedge. So this is basically uh, what we call a rising wedge, right? Uh, it, it's going up, it's going up in the corner, and we broke on the downside of the wedge. That, that's that's bearish. But that can be attributed to Bitcoin also breaking out of the rising wedge on the downside. Now the problem here is that we went down and we are retesting wedge as a resistance on the way up, right? Uh, you can see here. Let me zoom, uh, do this on the four hourly chart so you can see it. So we went down. Wait, not this one, not that one. We went down. We went, could not break it. Went down again, trying again to uh, get into the wedge. We are still not breaking it. So that's not very good. That's that's not very good. That's that's what we call bearishness. So basically, what we are actually doing is we went out wedge. Now we are retesting this uh, previous support as resistance, and we are expecting a bounce down from this area. Now, of course, everything expects also on what Bitcoin is gonna do. Like if Bitcoin suddenly turns the technicals and starts going up. It's gonna pull everything up, and if Bitcoin starts to go down, it's gonna pull everything down. Yes, I know people like, like to say, yeah, if Bitcoin goes up, uh, the alt goes down, and if uh, Bitcoin goes down, alt goes alt goes up. And this was was maybe the case in 2017, 2016, 17, right? Uh, it, it, today it's not the case, not that I can notice. Like I, every time Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down, and every time Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. So I think Bitcoin and altcoins are really well correlated right now. So uh, you have to check what Bitcoin is doing to know what uh, alts are, uh, are going to do. That said, uh, this doesn't actually look very bad. We can also look at the moving averages and you can see here that we did get support on the, this uh, uh, 50 moving. We broke it, but we got right back away. So yes, good news. Uh, we got support on this uh, 1.2 line uh, right over here. Very nice. Well, bearish news on the way back when after we broke the 20 moving average. That would be this uh, red line. You can see here that we are actually cannot break it on the way up again, and now we are resisting that and use it as a resistance. So that's kind of bearish. Not only that. So first of all, we are out 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 of the wedge. Number two, we cannot even uh, get above the 20 moving average on the daily uh, to push up. So that's kind of bearish. But the good thing we got some kind of support at 1.2. So maybe that will hold. Maybe that will hold. So the thing we are actually looking for now. Let me see if there is uh, this uh, divergence here. No, it's, there is no divergence on on. Uh, so the thing we are looking for now uh, is some kind of uh, mm, signs of bottoming out. We are looking for something that can tell us like, yes, this is good. We're going to go up. This is uh, the dump is finished because it is obviously a dump. Uh, Bitcoin is obviously going down. Uh, it, when Bitcoin stops dumping, I think everything is going to stop dumping. There have been some kind of uh, divergences uh, on the other altcoins. And I have been thinking like today can actually might uh, uh, Bitcoin do very well. But Bitcoin did not perform that well. And now it's continuing the dump that said this over here might actually be uh, something what we call double bottom uh, double bottom you hit uh, one two so there is some kind of strong support down here holding it so this might be some kind of double bottom uh, reversal pattern right you go down you got a double bottom and you kind of crawl up and this uh, support holds because down here there is a support and we don't want to break that so basically we don't want to break it. if we break that it's gonna uh, it's it can be actually a uh, quite bad so you don't want to break this level down here what's that level down here let's uh, let's put down this level down here 113 you don't want to break that you don't want to wait we had actually 115 up here that was holding yeah the 115 you remember the 115 line people who have been watching the channel for a long time remember the 115 line that line was so important that one it, it was holding all the way up here like you can see all the weeks like super nice and we broke it here we have been dancing below it and now we're dancing above it and now we are try, tr trying to hold the 150 line again so i think maybe we, we're gonna put the 150 line there and say that, that has to hold that has to hold so on the daily chart uh this uh 120 held but we are like right now looking at uh uh, if 115 are gonna hold so if you start going down uh, we want to hold this 50 moving average at least at 1.2 uh, 
uh, if not we want to hold 150 because if you start breaking 150 that, that can be very bad that can be very bad uh, on the positive side we are above the 10 and 20 moving average on the on the, on the moving averages that's the white and red line uh, this is on four early chart so you know don't take it too seriously and we are getting a resistance by 100 moving average so uh, this can anytime like both break on the downside and on the upside because it's four early chart they change very fast that's why we always look at the bigger time frames and on the bigger time frames right over here we are rejecting uh, getting rejected by the 20 moving every so I'll I cannot be bullish and say this is gonna, gonna go all the way up here when, when you are right now getting rejected. Once we, once we do that, you're gonna know that. Uh, uh, but right now, we don't actually know what's gonna happen. We are if this the best case scenario for the today, the best case scenario for today is closing above the this uh, above the 20 moving average. Uh, the red line closing above that that would be the best case scenario. Uh, well, best case scenario is closing above this. Uh, uh, this white line over here, the 10 moving average, but next best thing is closing above the 20 and inside the the wedge again, and the third best thing is closing above the 20 moving average. So best case, second best case, third best, so third best case is closing above 20 moving average. So that's what we're doing. So that those are the bad news. Uh, we uh, don't look that bullish on the small time frames. We don't do look that bullish on small time frames. The good news is that um, the errors, the technicals are. are okay uh, we have some bearish cross on the macd here uh, but uh, technicals are okay on the daily now for a very good news on the big time frames long term chart right what we what we actually want to know long term chart let me move this a little bit up i think it's 15 uh, 16 15 yeah something like uh, long term chart what we want to see here although we are out of the wedge we are holding this uh, 10 moving average this is on the weekly chart so this is super important because you are pumping on the 20 you're slightly cr crawling on the sorry you're pumping on the 10 you're crawling on the on the 20 so this is actually still pumping it's been in uh, consolidation for one two three four five six seven eight for two months we have been in consolidating uh, this uh, weekly chart and because we pumped really really hard up here I, I'm, I'm gonna show you here uh, this hit this hit some kind of very high levels at 95 on the RSI chart. This is a rubber band index. I'm going to talk about this as well. This hit 95 when it come here. So we had to have this consolidation. So this uh, this uh, indicator will get all the way down to 70 levels, some kind of 70 levels. Now sitting there, that's a perfectly fine levels. Also, we never got the bearish cross on the weekly chart. That's very good. So this looks to me primed like uh, primed for pumping. This looks very very good. This is the most bullish news I can give you. Uh, we are above the 10 moving average uh, everything looks so as soon as bitcoin decides okay the dump is finished this is going to the moon and i want to end with that this is going to the moon not the financial advice and all that you do your trades i'll do my trades and all that shebang but my opinion is this looks very primed to go to the moon as soon as the dumping is finished thank you guys subscribe to the channel like the video check out the links below patreon uh, telegram uh, i think there is something for everybody uh, telegram group is really nice so do join and chat with us <sighs> Thanks for watching, bye bye.